Okay, well, it's eight o'clock at night and I'm here finishing the wall. So the concrete was four hours late. So, yeah, we, I booked it for 11 o'clock and then we got bumped till 12.30 and then it showed up around about 3.30. So, yeah, we only started pouring around about 3.30. And we had my house to pour, and Nick, my partner, we had a retaining wall at his house to pour. Um, so now it's eight o'clock at night, and I'm finishing the top of the wall off, so that we have it well, so it's finished. Um, On other news, this is the first time I think I've been here this late at night. And man, is it ever quiet. Just let me be quiet and I'll, you can listen. There's a whole lot of crickets, cricketing over there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So, today we poured the final foundation wall on the house. So there you can see, all the way across there. And, oh, this is what I'm balancing on. And, sorry, looking down. I don't want to fall down that. That's a long fall. this and this that's the footing for the garage so over the weekend I'm gonna build those walls up to the same height as here yeah um, it's late I'm tired and I'm hungry and I almost can't see what I'm doing but Gotta get done, it's gotta get finished. Just gotta keep moving forward. I got from here to there to there to do. So, another 15 feet or so. So, I'll show you what I'm doing. That's the wall. Right now, I don't know if you can see it. It's got like a trowel finish to it. And what I'm making it do is have like a floated finish. It doesn't really show. But what this does, is kind of like uh, the way you'd float a stucco wall or a plastered wall. So, pick out the rocks. And I'm using this and I'm guiding over this edge and this edge to make sure that it's nice and straight. See, pulling out all the high points, pulling in the low points. See, so pull that away. This is high here, and this is low. So, what I'll do is I'll pull that low spot, that high spot, into that low spot. See now. Now it's all the same. And did that across the whole wall, like 70 feet of it. I'm gonna do that. And then here in the corners, same thing. So you pull in. Right in that piece of wood at the top. Just so you can see foundation wall now is that tall that's like 22 feet down from the sorry it's really late at night maybe if I turn the light on there you go that's better so can you see now it's all nice and glistening 
and it actually helps me out. So yeah. See, pull in the high spots into the low spots. So, good example here. So right here, between here and here, there's this ridge right here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drag that across. See how it's low in the corner here? Here there's a ridge. Put my float on there. And drag it backwards and forwards. Sorry, terrible camera angle. So, see now, nice and straight. So, this is the end of the wall. I'm gonna use the light and the video to check it. See there's a low spot here. Low spot down. This is pretty crude, pretty crucial. So this piece of wood here. This piece of wood. And a piece of wood way over there in that corner. We used a laser level to level those two pieces. So they're exactly level. So that's where our flow system sits. To ensure that everything's perfectly level and fit. I am just about done. Wow. Today was a day where nothing happened, nothing happened, nothing happened. And then concrete truck arrived, and day started at three o'clock. See the lights helping me out here, I missed this spot. This is gonna give us a really nice place. So what we do here, is obviously this area here is wood, so this comes off, see that? Right here at the edge of the wall, right here. So we snap a line six inches in, right about here. And that's the back edge of our plate, wall plate. Which gets anchor bolt down. And then the plywood from the floor system, which is the floor system joist, sit here, goes over the top of that and sits on that six inch plate. And then when we come to stand the wall up, we stand the wall up on top of that, stands the wall up here, starts here and stands up. We nail it down to that plate and bolt it with the anchor bolts. So this is why it's all gonna be level and straight and true Ooh. all day long i've been walking around that and it's not bothered me but all of a sudden it's dark it's a long way down look where i'm sat on this side See this is a rock. Let's get rid of that rock. Oh, there's another one there somewhere. There it is. See it there?
beautiful. So it doesn't have to be perfect, it's not uh, finished. We're not going for like a plaster finish here. It's another rock. See? We're not going for a plaster finish. But it's got to be straight and true. There are no bumps. Good. It's not there. Good. Get rid of a low spot. Good. Get a low spot. Good. Here's the last bit to be done. That's it. So I was way over there before. So that point and this point right in here. That point. And that point are perfectly level. Right over here, you see where it drops down? That's because there's a window going there for the back bedroom. That's our nighttime view. Okay, well, I have lost pretty much all light now. Lighting me up from the street lamp. Uh, yeah, so we're done. It is now um, like 8.30. I want to go home. So I'm going to leave this home to go to my other home and have some dinner. I'm not eating today. Cool.